For several years, world leaders have been sounding the alarm bells over irreversible climate change. Climate change is not a problem of the future. It is happening right here, right now. As the first generation to experience the devastating effects of climate change, it is upon us to address them. Our planet is being destroyed by our actions, such as polluting our oceans, failing to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, and destroying natural ecosystems and biodiversities. It is crucial that we take responsibility and work towards a more sustainable future. I'm sure y'all remember the historical winter storm that happened in Austin in February 2021. This storm brought record-breaking cold temperatures, power outages, water shortages, leaving millions of people without heat or running water for several days. This shocking event has occurred every single year since, with each storm expanding over more and more areas of Texas. During the summer of 2019, Austin experienced a heat wave that lasted for weeks, with temperatures reaching as high as 110 degrees Fahrenheit. These extreme temperatures caused power outages and strained the city's electrical grid, which raised concerns for public health and safety. People were advised to stay indoors and take precautions when outdoors to avoid heat-related illnesses. If climate change continues, Texas will see a 5% increase in humidity and six and a half months per year of temperatures above 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, climate change will also disproportionately affect southern states, as by 2070, the, suitable, the most suitable places to live in America will move upwards, and parts of Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona will be too hot to live in. The extreme temperatures will also have a significant impact on the agriculture in the region as well. The hot temperatures will cause a lot of the crops to become dry, reducing the amount of agricultural yields and quality as well. Additionally, livestock will also be heavily impacted as farmers try to keep cattle cool and hydrated during the hot summer months. By 2060, you could see Texas experiencing over a 92% decrease in agricultural productivity. But how does this affect us? Going on a more local scale, in a couple of years, you could see your daily fruits and vegetables becoming scarce, making the price two or three times as much as it previously was. Beef, eggs, chicken would become a lot harder to stock in our supply chains. So you can pretty much expect no more Chick-fil-A or Whataburger. We all understand the importance of switching to a more conservative lifestyle that protects the environment. We know that switching to a more sustainable system that protects the planet and its resources is needed. By transitioning to more renewable energy sources, reducing our carbon footprint, and by implementing eco-friendly practices, we can help mitigate climate change. We can create a cleaner and safer place for everyone. It is our collective responsibility to take action now and ensure a more sustainable future for all. Recently, we took part in a competition where we had to make a city in the future that could adapt and mitigate climate change. We also had to make a model for that city which highlighted all aspects of it, such as our city services and our advanced and futuristic technologies. We had to analyze information from today, then make up strategies, then use those strategies to combat the problems in our city. We learned that above everything else, innovation is key. We already have the right technologies to combat climate change, we just need to find ways to repurpose them into something that could benefit us all. As we got deeper into our research, what struck us deeply is how inequitable the impacts of climate change can be. The poorest countries and communities around the world will be affected disproportionately. Some of the most massive challenges we face today in fighting climate change is untangling ourselves from the reliance of fossil fuels. Yes, it's important for nations and communities to focus on renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, geothermal, but we also have to acknowledge the economic and geographical disparities that exist to tap into such resources across the world. A lot of developing countries are energy insecure and need cheap sources of energy. Their infrastructure, technology, and economic realities are different from developed countries like the United States. How do we, how do we break these dependencies? How do we democratize and promote energy equity for all? We need to take the first step so that others can follow in our footsteps. Current research on mini fusion reactor technology certainly looks promising. We also need to address the energy needs that will arise from the lack of access to fresh and clean water. A large-scale desalination is going to be a necessity in some parts of the world. 
and the incredible energy required to do this makes us need to think about the energy that powers the stars. Exciting breakthroughs in fusion that may yield breakthroughs in the coming decade could greatly move the needle in mankind's favor. Another area where we can make a profound impact on the planet is by reducing our energy needs. By widespread adoption of public transportation, telecommuting, and ride sharing, these may not seem like much, but during the global pandemic lockdown, global carbon emissions reduced by up to 6%. Air conditioning is also another area that needs disruptive technologies. New breakthroughs in material science, such as ultra-white pigment, that can reflect up to 99% of infrared light and heat, can reduce the energy needed for cooling in urban environments. Every step we take in widespread adoption of energy mitigation strategies can help us make fighting climate change more tractable to solve. Food is also a very heavy topic to discuss as well. Part of our culture and identity is wrapped up in the food we enjoy and share, but current industrial scale cattle farming and poultry farming has had a profound impact on our planet's climate, and we need to learn to confront these problems head on. How do we make it more sustainable and ethical? How do we balance the livelihood of the people, the population, the protein requirements of everyone, as well as the carbon impact of our current practices? What, cap what methods do we have for carbon capturing that we can deploy? How do we reconcile that as the earth warms, the area for growing produce and raising cattle will become increasingly scarce and expensive? These are problems that require multiple approaches. Our model city tried to project the needs of all our population and allocate resources to dense urban vertical farming, aquaculture, hydroponics, and lab-grown proteins to shore up our food supply chain. This project also gave us inspiration to come up with our own engineering solutions on a planetary scale. Sulfate aerosol dispersant, which basically mimics a volcanic reaction, can help us radiate heat away from an area. Cloud brightening can increase the amount of sunlight reflected, and space-based reflectors, such as reflective satellites, can help us greatly mitigate climate change. In our project, we use this research to come up with our own technology, the spectral radar technology. The spectral radar is basically a giant centrifugal slingshot launcher, meaning that it spins very rapidly in a circle to launch a projectile high into the upper atmosphere. These projectiles contain microbots, which can selectively make their surface more reflective and can be triggered to swarm together to self-assemble into a very large solar reflective disk that can dramatically cool down surface temperatures. New technologies in desalination and water filtration can help us purify contaminated groundwater and seawater, as well as new and more efficient water management systems can help increase access to fresh and clean water. Breakthroughs in AI could help us revolutionize the healthcare industry by being able to increase the speed and accuracy of diagnostics and by also being able to predict and prevent new diseases, as well as revolutionize the education industry by personalizing experience for students. These ideas, which may be deemed risky, will have to be explored given the scale of climate challenges we will have to face if we continue our current trajectory of warming the planet. As we read about all the solutions humanity has to offer, the more we're convinced it will take a system engineering, multidisciplinary approach to take all our best innovations and synergistically amplify our technologies to tackle this problem. The urgency of climate change cannot be overstated. The devastating effects of climate change can already be felt, evidenced by the extreme weather events and natural disasters that are occurring with increasing frequency and intensity. Climate change does not only impact one particular region or population, it affects us all. And we need to take responsibility for our actions and work together towards a more sustainable future. Transitioning to renewable energy sources, reducing our carbon footprint, and by implementing eco-friendly practices, these are all great steps we can take to mitigate climate change. As individuals, we can help fight climate change by implementing more eco-friendly ways in our daily lives, educating ourselves and others about climate change, and by speaking out and acknowledging that these problems are present and need to be dealt with. By working together, we can create a cleaner and healthier planet for the sake of our current and future generations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.